Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. If the Sith wanted to get on everyone's good side, they'd go clean up the swoop gangs in the lower city. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these this Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. Anymore. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the Lower City like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Becks were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Vulcan Gang, <laughs> the Lower City has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Dabbix's own people are having problems with the Black Vulcans now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm. I've heard of the Exchange. 
bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade-breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Uh... It's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine, though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Find a selection of supplies in all of Terrace. You interested in seeing what I have in stock? Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Welcome Achuta, Wonga Kunbis Dolpi Kikumuyana, Dong Patugas Bakdelia.
Yes, what's on your mind? I'm all ears, beautiful. <laughs> A little bit touchy, are we? It, is there something else you'd prefer I called you? I might consider it, but what are you gonna call me in exchange? Is that it? You can do better than that. Ouch. <laughs> that is better. Well, I bet beautiful doesn't sound so bad in comparison now, does it? Guilty as charged. I bet you still have those questions in mind, though. Are they really necessary? No, no, how can I resist a challenge to my manly pride, huh? <laughs> Fine. You made your point. Interrogate it well. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't end up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people, and, and for what? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? A smuggler? I should have guessed. Now, isn't it odd, however, that a smuggler who was added to the crew at the last minute just happens to be alive? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? It has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not gonna discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You must be the most damn persistent woman I've ever met. We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just wanna get going.
Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. My name's Garuk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits gets you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is the... Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. What do you want? 
Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus, you know where to find me. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Retire my uniform, so to speak. The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say something that might get me in trouble. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. Sith are hunting for any Republic soldiers who escaped the battle overhead. They even sent a patrol into the Undercity to look for survivors. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the Lower City? And where are those drinks we ordered? Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. Are you our waiter? Ghana's buying tonight. Talk to her to get my order. This Theresian ale is fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Let me enjoy my drink in peace. And I won't have to run you in for questioning. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all you are better down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! <laughs> and to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again! Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. Girl on used to be one of the best in the game. 
Now he's barely better than old Deadeye Duncan. Marl's been around forever. I wonder if he ever thinks about retiring. Paco Chichopa! Kimba Muli Rabona G! Chiskanichu! Oscar! Chiskanichu! The Hupa Botenia go Gigi Piti! Tava! Uba Basca Duana Chichopa Muska! Kiyokaku! What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. Wait, I know what you're going to say. It's great to see a woman in the duel ring strike a blow for equality. I'm a credit to my gender, blah, blah, blah. Just say it, okay? I'm just here to take care of business in the dueling ring. For some reason, every woman who comes in here thinks we should have some kind of female bond. Guess what? We don't. Well, now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Hello there, Offworlder. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? The duels themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols enter the ring. One walks out a winner. The other is carried out unconscious on a stretcher. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Gioca con molera, quien con jo pesha, no va moleraji. Torrio toranchi, ay tadia, pula una chimek, va molera slimo anga kubiskin. Chachis katumba toras matilia. Tava pudo. 
Pemeranan Oprata Bungno Saja itu apa ini? Aku cikopa Kino melerakin pajak Semua boi itu anak Tala tong abu Fibroblo Kio Ha Tong Tam Aku cik Aku cik Tala tong Kio Ha Tong Tam Tam Tatum, Faki, Tabam, Akuti, Tatum, Faki, Tatum, Faki, Tatum, Faki, Tatum, Tolaya Fulke, Gokola Gigi, Waja Nichu, Tonga Toras Matilia, Pepe, Asuta, Wonga Kumbis Dolpe Kikoliana. Tala Dumpa Kulpe Yea Mokabata, Chiska Nichu. Inkin kono bamulre racikum tog nawung shamunjang kawabul bamulje kumana kipuna ona nakajo kimba mule ratuana kawupa botenya kujojo piti kawatun pakul bahia mukata wanga kumbis kimba mule ra. Akin chana kok bakon kawa dupa kupa iya botenya. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endor Spire. Ako chikopa. Kino molera king paja snimo puituana. presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner I give you Jedi Duncan! And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! I saw your match against Duncan. Not bad for a rookie, but Deadeye's a joke. Even after I lost the use of my fingers, I can still beat him. Go talk to Azure, the duel organizer, if you want to step up to the big leagues. I'll show you what it's like to fight a real duelist. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. 
so pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you got the better of me. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Slime rat. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. I see you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Not bad. You've got real talent, kid. Stick with it and you'll go places. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Taurus? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years, and I remember every duelist who's been through this cantina. Of course, there are only five of us left now. Duncan, Gurlon, Ice, Twitch, and me. Bendak Starkiller comes in once in a while, but he's retired now. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. He still hangs around here sometimes. Bendak's the best there ever was, plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make it out alive. Duncan, worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. Gurlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gurlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. Ice? Eh, she's not much for personality. But she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady. Popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Twitch? I think that Rodian is completely crazy, but he's very, very good despite his insanity. Or maybe because of it. Even I can't beat him. Me? Oh, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone. But I can still hold my own against anyone in here. Except maybe Twitch. My area of expertise... I can only tell you what is recorded in the basic visitor guides. The Upper City is a beautiful destination where intergalactic travelers can find all their basic needs. If you're looking for excitement, the duel rings here are your best bet. Stay out of the Lower City. It's nothing but a gang-ridden slum. Is there anything else you want to know? Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Oscar!
Pula una chimek, babule ras limo anga kubisking. Ha! Chachis katon puta, kasabu baka ho 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 ho. Mocha donga, ya vulki ho ho ho. Parish manarish, donjone aha konong. Mulera yo nunaze, chichi mwi bedwa naita wish, muli ne mwone, uba na tu la boda, ya mi jusa. Ayo honopis, tu ula ji yoka ho, ako chikopa. Chino mulera king pajak, slima poitwa na. Ako chikopa. Chino mulera king pajak, slima. Chiyo kakol mulera. Kien konjo peshak, no ma mulera ji. Tere yon tora anchi, aita tia. Ula una chimek, ba mulera slima anga kubisking. Ladies and gentlemen, Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Talis dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your breath. So. Move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing auto prints today. I don't want to be mobbed. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway.
Aku cekopa. Kino melerakin paja selima poi tuana. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger. You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my words, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before this Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. I have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. You sting me with your words. I merely thought I could offer you the rare opportunity to meet a celebrity before they were famous. But I see you're not interested. That's too bad. They really are charming fellows. Very well then, I hope you enjoy the music. If you change your mind, come speak with me again. I don't know what the guys in here find so attractive about those Twi'leks. Look at them. They're dressed like little dirty space wenches.
You need a lesson on how to treat your social betters. <laughs> Daddy! Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try to explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You've saved my butt more than once, and I'm lucky to have you here to help me. No question. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you or being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I... Well, it won't happen again. That's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Me? I don't remember ever saying anything about a traitor. All I mean is that if you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? It's not what I want. I have a duty, and I intend to see it through. The galaxy is in danger, and I want to save it. That's what I want. Why is whether or not I trust you, or anyone, so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the Raku disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rakghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected would eventually mutate into Rakghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakghul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. I couldn't afford to give you more than a few med packs and a handful of credits. The medical center can barely afford to stay open as it is, but it hardly matters anyway. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. 
Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but... I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rakul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Hmm. I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here. Goodbye. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No! Help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but... Are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here.
to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. This planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Slummy's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Hey, this Slummy's got a mouth. Oh, great. We're fighting the drunks, are we? And do they stink? You talk big, Schlummy. Maybe you should show us a, a little more respect. Time to teach you a lesson, Schlummy. Maybe you'll think twice about coming up into our turf. Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape pods. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. The evil walks among us. The enemy is here! We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders! A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox infects our society. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. 
The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cooker, no, people like him can make trouble for us. It pains me to see that an alien lover such as yourself is still allowed to walk free. I've seen how the Sith operate. I know they will support my anti-alien policies. When the day of reckoning comes, you will suffer with the rest of the scum and alien lovers. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we sh and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along, unless you have the proper authorization papers. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a protocol droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taurus. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, also I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Taras is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taras Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taras, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taras government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then, if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Kachin awana wamata nishi la chorga kin kun palamona reji ching pala niska mule or tun rata tigin pot drunko the search at doma wana kondatama with team and bon rank tong mule ra on shanturing um ni patoga wanga chonzi te ika krotu haku jije watu yama kama wuna henak neck 
Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kimba mule radwana. Don kimba no kudnok nek. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin chana guana poklon. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. <laughs> I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Genchopa chawi tichok twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Bugra shak kun tichi wa um chawa. Tong abuk shami no nok. Chinapala mule tong ki ba non tontek. Tun ni chachon kun ne mule brabast. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun beast kin ba mula ra. Choni yun tun jiji ida dwana. Kava vulpa mulji gumana. Tanga bok sha um nag nong. Kin kun shin shin kin. Nikin kun na bule mule raji kun. Chuni yun ni jiji al dwana. Kava vulpa muli kumana. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shanu yang, chinapala mule, tong ki ba non tontek, tun ni chachon kun ne mule brabast. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibun ka sha chona si ichua byong bo joni, minamamato mule ra, hakugri kat gota parabola. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon. Wana kumbes, chi pala mulek, tong ki pa na nonek, tu nik ton chun chun ki nemolek rabest, wuf mala nibo kurk. China pala mule, tong ki ba non tontek, tu ni cha chon kun ne mule rabest. Kipuna, bona na kichu, kin pa mule radwana, tong kin pa no kudnok nek. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin chana guana poklon. Ni bajoni yo la wish. Dopa yuma pasen lati non gutu. Genchopa chawi tichok twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Bugra shak kun tichi wa um chawa. Dong abuk shami no nok. Kipuna na bon sha. Kava dumpa kupaliaya moka pata. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun beast kin. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun beast kin ba mula ra. Choni yun tun jiji ida dwana. Kava vulpa mulji gumana. Kinkun shi kakchin awana wamata. Nishi la chorga kin kun pala mona reji. Ching pala niska mule tun rata tigin pot drunko. The searcha doma wana kunda tama. Kuyami juvuk tik chita na patogta. Ya fulke gogala jiji. Ka wana bora atu gawa. Kanki do rakun. Watimi ala bola. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun beast kin ba mula. Tanga bok sha um nag nong. Kin kun shin shin kin. Ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun. Chuni yun ni jiji al dwana. Kava volpa muli kumana. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibun ka sha. Tangabun sha. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon. Wana kumbes, chi pala mulek, tong ki pa na nonek. Tu nik ton chun chun ki nemolek rabest, uf mala nibo kurk. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Tonk kiba nukunek. Tonga bok sha um nak nong. Mucha shakapaka. Yi ki kun no ba mula dra ki chi chong. Tonga bok sha um. Hachu apang. Tonga bu. 
Run the Ichawa Tombola Johnny Ku Yumawama Nibo Lora Waisha Waga Shichi. Randi Ichawa Tongbola Johnny Ku Yumawama Nibo Lora Waisha Waga Shichi. Wanna check Yomi? Wanna vota Kunti Dariti? Chichi Tonga Tonka Kola Yami Twa Na 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 Kanki Chiki Nai Potoka Na Na Pota Kakin Cha Na Kwat Na Bon Kon Wanna Kumbes Chi Pala Mulak Tonki pa nak nonek tu nik ton chu chun ke nemolek rabest uf mala ni bokurk. Tanga bok sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni gigi alduana kava volpa muli kumana china pala mule tonki ba non tontek. Tu ni cha chon kun ne mule brabast. Run di ichawa tongbola Johnny Ku. You ma want. I've got a ton of things to do today. I can't talk to you. If the Sith wanted to get on everyone's good side, they'd go clean up the swoop gangs. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. On it. Done. This used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Terizian underground? Start talking. I want answers. He offered you. He enjoyed it out. And really good. And he behind all of you. And now for the Dufka. You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Who said that? What's going on?
What's going on out there? Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach the civilian the penalty for defying the Sith. My mama says I have to stay out of the lower city. That's where the bad people live. Don't hurt my family. Look, just take what you want and get out. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home.
Please, don't hurt me. I'm just a simple merchant. I, I don't want anything to do with you, Sith. Please, just leave me alone. Greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured, I have all the proper permits to be here, spreading my message. Feel free to stay and listen if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. A plague spreads through our script. You Sith should shut this guy up. I think he's violently dangerous. Just listen to him. I'm not looking for any trouble with you Sith. Please, just leave me alone. I'm not looking for any trouble with you, sis. Please, just leave. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean.